In the new FNAF game Into the Pit, Oswald goes back in time to the original Freddy's Fazbear Pizzeria. But how does he do that? Originally, I thought the ball pit he uses was a time machine, but it actually uses Remnant and Agony to be a portal to these painful memories. This explains how William Afton is back, but it's not exactly William Afton. Remnant allows William Afton's spirit to come back to snatch Oswald's dad. Remnant is mixing memories with the soul of someone. It calls causes things that are lost to become real again, like paranormal activities. They're tethered to the real world with intense emotions like agony, and also metal, because metal is the best conductor for emotional energies. The metal in the Spring Bonnie suit allows the agony of William Afton to snatch Oswald's dad. The ball pit is cursed with agony and remnant, which takes him to the time of these memories. The most powerful component is intense emotion. Specifically agony which is intense pain on the body or mind. When William Afton caused the missing children incident and put their bodies in the animatronics, the agony from the kids caused the ball pit to become a portal. Maybe in the game we'll find out specifically what happened in the ball pit. What I think is interesting is in the FNAF movie, Abby was hiding in the ball pit. Originally, Oswald was on summer break. There isn't much to do in his town since most of the people moved away. He started going to this place called Jeff's Pizza. Oswald could tell this place was used for something else. There are old dusty props that clearly weren't on brand. Oswald goes into the ball pit but ends up there decades before, only to realize it's Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria. Somehow, the place seems cool and he meets some new friends. Oswald loves this place until one day he's there and witnesses something dark. He witnesses William Afton cause the missing children incident. What's even worse is William Afton sees him. Oswald runs back to the pit to his normal time period. His dad, furious about where he's been, suddenly William Afton darts out of the ball pit, snatching Oswald's dad, dragging him into the ball pit. William Afton re-emerges, staring at Oswald as he shivers, terrified. However, the owner of Jeff's Pizza, Jeff, sees William Afton as Oswald's dad. They go back home and even his family thinks that William Afton is his dad. The only one that notices is Oswald's cat. Oswald sneaks back to Jeff's Pizza and finds his dad unconscious in the ball pit. The yellow rabbit appears grabbing Oswald. Oswald somehow manages to put a net over the rabbit, and the rabbit's neck gets tangled in the net. Oswald escapes with his actual dad. That's the gist of this story. I mainly summarized it, but I think there's a lot more that they could do with this story. In the new FNAF game, Into the Pit, I think we'll see Oswald go back in time to Freddy's Fazbear Pizzeria, but unlike the book, I think we'll see other time periods in the FNAF universe. In the trailer, we see a poster of Toy Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. That makes no sense because we don't see Toy Bonnie until 1997, but this part of Into the Pit doesn't take place until 1995. Need more proof? There's a screenshot of Chica standing, looking like she might jump at any second, but this is the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 Chica, which isn't around until 1987. Mind you, Chica was never in the book. Maybe she's somehow been affected by Remnant. There's also a poster of Balloon Boy who isn't in the game until FNAF 2. I'm wondering what the gameplay could consist of. There are elements that were not in the book. We see Oswald hide in Golden Freddy who's not even in the original book. I think the gameplay will consist of puzzles and being stealth, avoiding animatronics, kind of like Security Breach, but instead of hiding in a strong Roller will be hiding inside of Golden Freddy. I've seen a lot of people wondering if this game's official and 100% is. When the game got leaked, Scott commented on his Reddit saying that he was kind of blown that it was leaked but it's okay to post about it and that he's been working on this for a while. He said the game's a part of the 10 year anniversary and this year's the 10th year so the game is definitely coming out this year. I wanted to go back to the whole Remnant and Agony thing. When I made my initial video, a lot of people were calling me out saying this was not William Afton. Which I think is true, but also not. I think it's his spirit, which would mean that it is still technically him, but just not his physical embodiment. But what I think is more likely, and I hope that the game goes into more detail about, is Oswald's dad has some connection to the pizzeria. I feel like there has to be a deeper meaning for why the yellow rabbit costume decided to take his dad's place. When his dad comes back to consciousness, the yellow rabbit's eyes are dark now. 
showing that nothing is there anymore. Plus, his dad doesn't remember anything. Allegedly. It would make more sense if his dad remembered getting attacked by the rabbit and was freaked out about it, but he acted like it didn't happen. I also wouldn't be surprised if they expanded upon Jeff's role. I really do not understand how Jeff did not see any of that go down, especially Oswald fighting the Yellow Rabbit costume. Bro is having a full Mortal Kombat fight with the Yellow Rabbit and Jeff's just in the back casually taking forever to get this soda. In the previous games, all the pizzeria owners had a dark past, so I wouldn't be surprised if Jeff is the same. Plus, look at his face in this screenshot. Bro looks like he knows something. I love this 16-bit type art style. I think it really fits the games, especially from the earlier games where they were, like these old style games when it would show significant lore. There have been a lot of people wondering if this game is canon. I think it is. I think all of the FNAF games, movies, and books are canon. One time Scott did this interview where he said he didn't want to say the answer to some lore because he didn't want to cause an uproar, which I totally agree. When I look at some of my comments, they are insane people just riled up and angry over an opinion but what i think scott is telling us about that is basically everything is canon as long as you can have some type of basis to back it up i think this idea is really supported by all the different endings that the fnaf games have like when you beat security breach i think there were like six different endings to the game everyone thought the burn trap ending was the canon ending because that was the only one that was fully animated but when you play the ruin dlc or help one two there are things that contradict this like the princess quest ending but i think there were also things that contradict that ending as well what i think scott wants us to do is pick our own puzzle pieces that do mash up together and create our own lore i think that makes the most sense and i think scott is 100 down for that idea that's what's kept the fnaf franchise going for so long is wondering what exactly has been happening in these games like what is the lore and i think if we were to get an official answer it would take away a lot of the fun from the games i think that's why when we play to help one and two you just get like these little snippets of lore telling us what could possibly be happening I don't know if this series will ever end, and quite frankly, I don't really want it to. I love trying to figure out what the lore is and what is exactly happening. But I feel like we're getting to a point where it's getting super convoluted. The FNAF lore is like trying to explain someone the story to Kingdom Hearts. I've literally watched multiple hour long videos trying to explain Kingdom Hearts and I was so confused. And I feel like FNAF is really getting to that point. I think that's why in Help Wanted they tried to retcon it by saying that one of the developers messed up. And then it showed a picture of Scott. I kind of feel like that was his way of saying I didn't realize this game is going to be this popular. So I didn't fully think out every single little detail. So let's kind of like put that aside and start an official canon. What do you guys think of this? Unfortunately, MatPat is supposed to stop posting on game theory before this game comes out. If he doesn't come back, I'll be here to post theories and do live streams of the game. So make sure to follow. What do you guys think of this game so far? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.